Hello and welcome to Keen on Keys. Today I want to pay some attention to this little melody. You've probably heard it before, but did you ever wonder where it comes from? I did, and I will try to find out. What you can see here is the Casio VL1, also known as VL Tone. It first came out in 1981. I know, the writing says Realistic Concert May 200, but it's exactly the same instrument. It was produced for Radio Shack, an American retailer, and they rebranded all of their products. As always, I wanted to do a short video including the demo tune. Cause usually this is one of the first things you do when you get a new keyboard. Press the demo button. And this is a very special demo, because as far as I know, it's the first demo tune in a home keyboard. But I had some problems to figure out where it comes from. The manual says that it's a German folk song. The same melody was also used in all the VL1 successors. The VL10, PT1, PT10, PT12, PT22 and EP10. And it's on the R0551 cartridge that was shipped with a few ROM pack keyboards like the PT82 and PT87. I think it was released in 1984 together with the PT80. And here we can read the title Unterländers Heimweh that means Lowlanders Homesickness. I never heard of this German folk song and it sounds more like a children's song to me. But I was curious. I tried to find some more information about it. And there is a German folk song existing with this name. It's also known as Drunten im Unterland, which means down in the lowlands. It's about someone in the mountains who thinks or knows that it's much better in the lowlands where people are poor but open-hearted. But I was surprised, because it has a completely different melody and time signature. It has nothing in common with the demo melody. Why did they name it Unterländers Heimweh? Was it a mistake? Or where does this melody come from? It could be a German folk song, or more likely a children's song. I only know a few of them, so I asked some friends of mine, but nobody knew what it is. It sounded familiar to them, at least in some way. And it also sounds a bit familiar to me. It seems to be a mixture of two children's songs I know. The first part reminds me of Ein Männlein steht im Walde, A Little Man Stands in the Forest. It's not exactly the same, but quite close. The second part reminds me of Vogelhochzeit, Bird Wedding. The melody is a bit different, but the rhythm is the same. Of course, all children's songs have simple melodies and simple rhythms. But my first thought was, the one who programmed this demo tune thought he reminded a German folk song and unconsciously mixed two of them together. And after the VL1 was such a big success, they wanted to put the same melody on the ROM pack. This time with a nice accompaniment. But they needed a name for it. And for some reason, they've chosen a wrong name. But somebody must have told them very early, cause in 1984, they also released the MT35. And later in 1985, the MT36, again with a demo tune called Unterländers Heimweh. But this time, they used the correct melody. I'm wondering why they did it this way. Although they've corrected it, it's even more confusing. Because they went on producing the R0551 with the wrong name at least until 1987, when the PT87 was released. Or are there two versions of Unterländers Heimweh existing? I had to do a bit more research. And I noticed that the names on the ROM pack are also written in Japanese. It was a bit tricky. But with the help of these cryptic characters, I was able to find a version of the demo melody with Japanese lyrics. A children's song that's called Yamano Ongakuka. It should mean something like mountain musicians. 
The lyrics are about some animals from the mountains that play different instruments, and these instruments are then imitated by the singer. Like in a typical nursery rhyme with fun actions. So it's definitely not a version of Unterländers Heimweh. It's also something about mountains, but something completely different. The song first appeared in April 1964, in a five-minute Japanese TV and radio show that's called Mina no Uta, Everybody's Song or Songs for Everyone, produced by the Japan Broadcasting Corporation, NHK. This show started in 1961 and is still on the screen. In the beginning, they've used a lot of Japanese interpretations of foreign children of folk songs. From April to May 1964, they showed Yamano Ongakuka, played by a band named Dark Ducks, a Japanese boy group formed in 1951. No, these are not the four Casio brothers. They made a whole record with children's songs a few years later. The song was arranged by Katsuhisha Hattori, a Japanese classical composer who also writes music for movies and TV series. He's still alive. The lyrics were written by Kakamasa Kurosawa, a Japanese composer who started to write books with children's songs in the 1920s. His translation of Yamano und Gakuka should be based on a German folk song called Ich bin ein Musikante, I'm a musician. And there is a German children's song existing with this name. It has a different melody, but very similar lyrics. I also found a nice English version, I'm a fine musician. It's almost the same. It goes like this. The melody is different, but we can assume that Yamano Ongakuka is based on this song. The lyrics are very similar. But who changed the melody? Was it Takamasa Kurosawa? Or the arranger, Katsuhisa Hattori? I found a second German version that's slightly different. Also not the melody we're looking for, but we see that these old melodies can change over time. And in a children's songbook from 1841, I stumbled over an old forgotten third version. It's called Das Lied vom Musikanten, The Song of the Musician. And here we have it. Again, similar lyrics, but listen to the melody. The first part is exactly the same. Then there is a middle part. This one is left out in the Japanese version. But the last part is the same again. Now we can assume that this is the version Takamasa Kurosawa used for his translation. He must have been able to get one of these old German songbooks for children. And he probably translated it quite early, maybe in the 1920s. And Katsuhisa Atori picked up an already well-known song to arrange it for the TV show in 1964. So we see Cassia has chosen a very popular melody for the demo. At least a popular melody in Japan. And they have chosen it carefully. Because, with the lyrics in mind, this melody fits perfectly to a kid's keyboard, which also imitates a bunch of different instruments. They knew it has German roots. And they knew that the direct translation of Yamano Ongaguka isn't the correct title. But for some reason they thought Unterländers Heimweh is the right name. Maybe because the lyrics have also something to do with mountains. Or it was simply just a mistake. However, this was part one of my small series about the VL1. In the next video I will show you the features. Thanks for watching.